Hello everyone, my name is Yuja Noi and I'm the Mechatronics Lead in CAD Microsolutions. In this video, I will be showing you some neat features in Altium Designer 2016. It is extremely crucial to clearly communicate design intent through pro proper netlist generation and engineering change orders between schematic and PCB documents. There is often an extra documentation required to further explain constraints and intents from the schematic and logical definition team to the PCB layout and fabrication team. Synchronization of net colors from schematic to PCB will allow design intent to be easily understood and will also allow important nets to be seen easily and addressed immediately. In Altium Designer 2016, designers and engineers can also effortlessly ensure net colors on both the schematic and PCB are synchronized through the standard engineering change order one button click. This feature in Altium Designer 2016 ensures that the design is documented accurately as you move from schematic to your PCB document. You can also make use of the cross probe to go from your schematic to PCB and vice versa if you'd like to verify that the pins are connected to the proper nets as well. Next up would be component placement systems. In this current technological era with the boost of Internet of Things and wearable technology, products are now miniaturized which require printed circuit boards of a smaller form factor. In Altium Designer 2016, Users now have the capability to perform advanced component placement, which allows for an organized board layout. As the board real estate becomes a, a scarce resource, it is extremely crucial to easily manage, organize, and appropriately place components on boards. In Altium Designer 2016, there are intelligent alignment functions and options, which allow for dynamic placement of components while pushing, avoiding, or ignoring other components in the vicinity. You can also snap or align to other object axes with simple board keyboard shortcuts. Next up will be visual clearance boundaries. Understanding the impact of design rules while routing may be a difficult task if there is no graphical visualization of constraints. It will be immensely difficult if a trace can go through, can or cannot go through a tight gap or space in, on a board layout, especially when there are multiple design constraints for various situations as defined on your board design. In Altium Designer 2016, users will now obtain visual indicators for clearance constraint to improve efficient route while in all, interrupting, while in all interactive routing modes. You can use this new useful feature in, in combination with all routing conflict resolution modes such as hug and push, walk around, as well as push modes which most of you are already comfortable with. Designers which require accurate board timing can also make use of this visual indicator during the differential pair routing as well. During board fabrication, drilling of holes would need to be in a specified tolerance instead of just a regular, straight up, single digit number. In Altium Designer 2016, you now have the ability to add the hole tolerance specifications on pads and vias. These specifications will also appear in the live drill table for documentation purposes. Designing for high-speed application boards require precise calculations and constraints of traces such as length matching between nets, net length requirements, as well as differential pair tolerances. Board designs with DDR3 and DDR4 applications require tighter rules for tightly, tightly spaced compact components and traces. In Altium Designer 2016, you now have the capability to easily design the most accurate high-speed board layouts with the technologically aware X signals wizard. In the wizard, you can define classes and rules to group and segregate common interfaces, memory circuits, as well as addresses. This wizard guides the engineer through X signal classes creation and configurations for match length, differential pairs, and length rules 
Instead of having to painstakingly define design rules for each and every high speed net on the board. Board design does not just end at the design stage. You would still need to push to fabricate or procurement of the components that you require. The, co the procurement process is delayed at times due to part shortage, due to part shortage or discontinuation. Practically, you would be able to choose alternative parts for some components on the board. In Altium Designer 2016, you now have the ability to choose alternative part choices for a component where these part choices would come from the most trusted suppliers such as DigiKey, Mauser, Farnell, Arrow, just to name a few. These part choices defined by the design team can then be transferred to the procurement team who will then have the capability to substitute part choices if there are concerns in terms of stock availability or price budget. That way you can combine both the knowledge by the design team of which components to use as well as the flexibility to the procurement team to, to define which of the alternative part or which is uh, the primary part that needs to be chosen based on the stock availability and price. Boards can also be exported as 3D PDF, which can be opened and viewed in 3D mode even though the free, even through the free Acrobat Reader aid and up. You can, cre you can create keyframes for various board views, which you can then animate as you go from frame to frame. This has always existed in Altium Designer, but in Altium Designer 2016, you can now export these keyframes to the 3D PDF, which you can then use to navigate the important view configurations. Some of the important view configurations are such as important component placement views or a board overview from either the top view or the bottom view of the board. So that way you can navigate very easily while you're in the 3D mode even through a regular Acrobat reader of the PDF document. You can also get document metadata, such as when it was created, who was the one that created this Altium Designer project, as well as the creation date, and so on and so forth. In order to make use of the 3D features in Altium Designer for 3D clearance checking, 3D PDF creation, and good 3D visualizations, it is best recommended that you have 3D models for the footprint on your board. What was conventionally done was you would import stat models into your footprint. However, apart from that, you can now create sophisticated 3D models using the IPC footprint compliant wizard as well. As, you, as some of you might already know, the IPC com footprint compliant wizard allows you to proper define, properly define the dimensions and configurations as stated in the part data sheet provided by the manufacturer. You can now obtain a preview of the footprint both in 2D or 3D mode as well as a properly defined step 3D model prior to creating that footprint. Footprints for low, medium, and high density boards can be created from this wizard. You will also have the choice to export the 3D step model if required as well. As you can see here, you can generate a pretty sophisticated model for a simple TSSOP component, or you can also create a BGA component, which will actually make spheres on the ball grid array footprint as well. So as you can see here, this ball grid array of the footprint created using the IPC compliant footprint wizard would actually come in spheres representing each and every single pad that it creates. So that way you can actually place this particular footprint on the board, which will make the board looks much more real as well as more pleasing, especially when you're doing any marketing purposes of your product design. The features outlined in this video is just a small preview of the other new and exciting features which most which Altium Designer 2016 brings. In this latest 
release, you now have the ability to produce the most accurate board design in a unified environment with enhancement in collaborative data and work process between the electronics, mechanical, and procurement teams. Thank you very much, and I'm Eugene Oi once again from CAD Microsolutions.